today we are going to learn three dimensional shapes. This is going to be awesome. Love the 3D shapes. A lot of people know the 2D shapes. You might not know the 3D shapes. You're in the right place. Before we get started, let me just dance here real quick. This is really cool music. I really like this. You know, I like to dance. You know, some people, they're not dancers. You know, I, I dance. I dabble in dancing. You know? All right, that's enough. Can somebody turn that music off? I mean, seriously, I can't, I, I, can't, I can't teach like this. I can't teach with this music going on. You know, I, I feel like I'm in a candy shop. Let's just let's turn the music off, please. Thanks. So here they are, our old friends, the 2D shapes. You're familiar with these, you know? You're familiar with the circle, the oval, the triangle, the pentagon, the trapezoid, the hexagon, the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, and the octagon. And these aren't all our, our shapes, our 2D shapes, you know, but these are old family friends of ours. We don't want to just forget about these. And before we look at 3D shapes, it's really important for us to look at these shapes again because these are old friends so we're going to look at each one of these one by one just to make sure you know who they are before we learn all these new shapes this first shape doesn't even need an introduction it's the circle the circle that round figure it's awesome we love this shape it's one of the first ones we ever learn the circle this next shape is one of the stretchy shapes, the oval. It's like a circle got stretched out. It's elongated. It's a tremendous shape, the oval. Here's another familiar shape, the triangle, three sides. We love the triangle. The triangle is great. The three-sided friend, three sides, a triangle. Wait, I keep saying we love the shapes. I mean, uh, we like the shapes, but do you love the shapes? Do I love the shapes? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I I need to take it easy here. Huh. All right, let's keep going. Ah, the square. A four sides, all equal. You know, the square's good. The square's a good shape, you know? Sometimes you just need a square. Sometimes you just need a square. Here's the rectangle. The rectangle is longer than the square because not all four sides are equal. The rectangle. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm, we're in the middle of something here, but I have to share this. Okay. So, what do you call a hamster with a top hat? <laughs> Abrahamster Lincoln. <laughs> I digress. The trapezoid, a cool shape with two of the sides being parallel to each other and the parallelogram, another four-sided shape. Both pairs of sides are parallel to each other. And finally, the pentagon with five sides, the hexagon with six sides, and the octagon with eight sides. What awesome shapes. So let's go ahead and do a quick 2D shape quiz. I need your help. I want to see if you really learned these, if you really know these before we get into the 3D shapes. So help me out here. We're going to have an awesome time. Wait, what? what? It's not my birthday. Oh, well. What type of shape is on the top? Yeah, a circle. What type of shape is in the middle? A square! Awesome! Okay, now, what shape is on the bottom? Of course, a triangle! Awesome job, now we've got more. This is a little trickier. Which shape is in the middle? Yeah, a trapezoid. Which shape is on the right? The pentagon. Good job. And which shape is on the left? Yeah, 
the square. Now try these. Which shape is on the bottom? Yeah, the oval. Which shape is on the top? Yeah, the parallelogram. Which shape is in the middle? All right, the rectangle. Great job. All right, the last one. Which shape is on the left? Yeah, the hexagon. Which shape is on the right? Great, the octagon. And which shape is in the middle? Phenomenal, the pentagon. All right, we're ready to learn the 3D shapes. We're gonna learn how to identify the three-dimensional shapes. If you struggle through the quiz, you might wanna watch the first part of the video again. Otherwise, let's get started. So as we're starting out, it's important to remember what makes a 3D shape a 3D shape. There's an old rhyme that says, 3D shapes are fat, not flat. And you can see that with the sphere, which is a 3D shape we're about to learn, and the circle. The circle is flat, but the sphere is 3D. It's three-dimensional, and all the shapes are like that. So let's learn all these 3D shapes. So the first 3D shape we're going to learn is the sphere, the one that we just mentioned. The sphere is the 3D version of the circle. It's perfectly round. There are spheres all around us. One of the spheres we see all the time are balls, like this soccer ball. A soccer ball is a sphere. It's perfectly round. It's a 3D circle. It's a sphere. You know this sphere. Yes, it's the Earth. It's where we live. Our planet is a sphere. How cool is that? Our own planet is a sphere. Perfectly round, it's a sphere. In this picture, we have two spheres. Can you spot them? Yeah, the two spheres are the two bowling balls. Perfect round spheres. Spheres are all around us. Here we have a group of three spheres, and you can count them right now. One, two, three spheres all together. The shape of a ball, a sphere, perfectly round. Well, there you have it, the sphere. What a cool 3D shape to start with. It's round, there are examples all around us, and it's just so cool. And you know what? The 3D shapes are gonna get even better. Our second 3D shape is the cone. The cone is a really cool shape with a circle as the base or the bottom, and it all comes up to one point called a vertex. Here's an example of a cone I think we all love, the ice cream cone. If it doesn't have any ice cream inside and you flipped it upside down, you'd be able to see the circle base, and it all comes up to one point called the vertex. Here are two cones, a red cone and a blue cone. And you can see both cones have that circle base and all comes up to a vertex. What wonderful cones. Have you seen these before? They're traffic cones. Here are many cones. I didn't count all of them, but there's a lot and they're wonderful, wonderful cones. So that's our second 3D shape, the cone, a wonderful cone with a great circle base. It all comes up to one point called the vertex. How awesome is that? Our third 3D shape is the pyramid. I love the pyramid. The pyramid's great. It comes up to one point, just like the cone, except the base is a square and the sides, instead of being smooth, they are triangles. Okay, like these are awesome! 
These are so cool. The pyramids of Egypt. You see that they have the triangle sides and the bottoms of these pyramids are square. They're awesome examples of the pyramid. This is a pretty cool pyramid. It's a decoration that you plug into the wall, but it's a great example of what a pyramid looks like. The bottom or the base is square and there's the triangles on the sides. How cool is this? Here's another pyramid and it's made of glass. There are so many decorations and things around maybe even your house that are shaped like a pyramid because pyramids look so cool. People love putting them everywhere. And there you go. I mean, you know, the pyramid, it's a good shape. You know, you see a lot of them around. They've got the square bottom or base and the the triangles on the sides and all goes up to a vertex. It's a classic shape. It's pretty awesome. Our fourth 3D shape is the cylinder. Now a cylinder is easy to spot because it's got a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom and it's smooth all around. Here we have a can of soup and it's a cylinder. It has a circle on the top, a circle on the bottom and it's smooth all around. All cans and most jars are cylinders. Here we have three cylinders. They're candles. And can I tell you a secret? Most candles are cylinders too, right? Oh my goodness, this is just too crazy and too awesome. Here are two more cylinders. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Even batteries are cylinders? Cylinders are seriously everywhere. A circle on the top, a circle on the bottom, and smooth all around i mean really the cylinder is everywhere i mean you know the circle on the top circle on the bottom smooth all around i i cylinder like what in the world do you have to be everywhere okay the next 3d shape is the cube the cube is the 3d version of the square it has six sides or faces that are all squares Here we have two dice. Dice are in the shape of a cube. So these two dice are two cubes. They have six sides or faces that are all squares. Here we have many cubes. These are cubes that are made out of wood. Each of them have six sides or faces that are all squares. Here are seven cubes of ice. Have you ever had a warm drink and you need to put ice in it? It's awesome because it has this great shape, the shape of a cube. Six sides or faces, all squares. I mean, there you go. The cube, right? The 3D version of a square and it's got squares all along the sides, right? There's six sides or faces, all squares. And I don't know, I think it's a pretty cool shape. Our final 3D shape is the rectangular prism. The rectangular prism is the 3D version of the rectangle. It has six sides or faces that are all rectangles. Okay, an awesome example of the rectangular prism are bricks. And here we have four bricks, which are four rectangular prisms. The 3D version of the rectangle. You may have seen this in your classroom or in your home. It's a Kleenex box, and the Kleenex box is a great example of the rectangular prism. It's got six sides or faces that are all rectangles. Okay, so the secret is most boxes are rectangular prisms. So here's another rectangular prism, and it's a box, and it's a shorter box, but it still has rectangles all around, and it's a rectangular prism. What else can we say? It's a cool shape. The rectangular prism is the 3D version of the rectangle. It has six sides or faces that are all rectangles, and it's just a neat shape to have around, I think. I mean, you know, it's yeah. cool. Hey. <laughs> so let's review.
pyramid. Cylinders. Beer. Cylinder. Cones. Pyramid. Rectangular prism. Spheres. Let's do some more. On the top here we have cubes. We can tell that because it's a 3D square. It has six sides or faces. Each of them are squares. It's pretty cool. Do you remember what shape these bricks are? Yeah, a rectangular prism. They are rectangular prisms. They're the 3D versions of the rectangle. At the top we have a cone, a cone. It's got a circle base on the bottom and it all comes up to one point called a vertex. Do you remember the shape here on the bottom? These are three cylinders. They have a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom and it's smooth all around. You're doing such an awesome job. <laughs> Seriously, it's so cool. So what's this top shape? Do you remember? Yeah, it's a pyramid, a pyramid. A pyramid has a square base. It comes up to one vertex or one point and it has triangles as the sides. All right, do you remember this last shape here on the bottom? Yes, it's the sphere, the sphere, which is the 3D circle. And we started with it and we're ending with it and it's so awesome. You did it, you did it, <laughs> you did it. From all of us here at Homeschool Pop, thank you so much for hanging out. We had a great time. We hope that you did too. Be sure and subscribe for more videos and fun with us here at Homeschool Pop. You can also see other videos on the side and you know how to find things on YouTube. It's cool, but we look forward to seeing you again soon. I want to watch another one.